I want to drop a nugget in our spirit. And I'm going to come out of Ecclesiastes 9.11, where it reads, The race is not given to the swift. or the strong, but to the one that endures to the end. It's personal. I want to read that again and I want, to, I want you to catch what makes this verse personal to each and every one of us. It says, the race is not given to the swift or the strong, but to the one that endures to the end. So I want to interchange the word race with the word life. This life is not given to the swift or the strong, but to the one who endures until the end. What does it mean, the race not to the swift? Or what does it mean, the life is not to the swift? This means even though if you are not the smartest, the strongest, the most knowledgeable, or the best looking in the natural, God can still give you good success when you depend on his grace. I'm going to read this again. This is personal. Swift mean that even if you're not the smartest, if you're not the strongest, if you're not the most knowledgeable or the best looking in the natural, God can still give you success when you depend on his grace. So this life that we are given is a, is, is, is a challenge, but is a challenge to the self. It is not that we should look at somebody and see how swift they are. Oh man, dude is moving along through life better than me or how smart somebody is or how strong somebody is because the, 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 this life is not a life of comparisons because no man is another man's standard. No woe man or man is another man's standard because God gives us our own personal life to endure this life until the end. You know, what does that mean to endure until the end? It, you know, the, the, the end of our lives and a thing that to endure is not the end, like hurricane, the cold, this is not the end of our lives, but this is something that we endure. You know, God gives us life, but we endure the life until the end of life, not to the end of circum cir uh, uh, circumstances and situations and trials. Trials are not our end. It's just a it's just a passing thing. So so we endure everything that we can endure until God calls us back. You know, it's the same, you know, when you when you are writing a sentence. When you write a sentence and then you put a comma at the end at some point, that lets you know that the sentence is a run-on sentence. 
But but when your sentence, when that sentence end, you put a period at the end of it to let you know that that sentence has end. So it is with life. Life has a lot of continuations, a lot of commas in it. But long as you continuing to live and endure through all the commas and all the pitfalls and all the ups and downs in life, you endure that, endure that all the way until the end of life. It goes on to say, what is, what is the spiritual meaning of endurance? To endure. The, the spiritual meaning to endurance means rightly handling God's word. That's how this definition starts off. The, the spiritual meaning of endurance, it starts off with rightfully handling God's word. That's very, very important that God's word is our wisdom. It is our guide. Endurance means I want to be an honorable vessel. I don't want my life to get in the way of what God has called his people to be. It means being ready for every good work. So, so even in our commas in life, you know, even in our trials in life, in our hard times in life, in our, our mental situations in life, in our physical realities in life and monetary terror mount monet mon, monetary monetary pitfalls or ups in life we are to endure all of these things until the period comes at the end so this was what endurance is you know this life is not given to the swift or the strong but to the one who endures 